are uh, in New Delhi. The latest coming in, Suresh Kalmadi, the man accused uh, of the massive Commonwealth Games scam, has in fact been granted bail. The former CWG OC chief, Sal uh, Suresh Kalmadi, has been granted bail on a surety of 5 lakh rupees. That's the latest that we are hearing. Of course, uh, this has been, uh, the bail has been granted by a Delhi court. We'll try going across to our correspondent uh, for all the latest. Minakshi now joins us uh, for all the latest details. Minakshi, go ahead. Oh, well, yes, absolutely. The news just coming in. Uh, Suresh Kalmadi, uh, after spending a long time in Tihar, will be a uh, free man today. The Delhi High Court has just pronounced its verdict and it has deemed it appropriate to grant bail. Now, this has come close on the heels of uh, the famous 23rd November judgment of the Apex Court uh, pertaining to uh, the granting of bail to the 2G accused in the uh, 2G case. That was the first bail order uh, pertaining to the bail of corporate honchos. Therein, the Supreme Court had made a set of observations uh, pertaining to upholding of the bail law, as it were. Uh, and that those observations were quoted by uh, Kalmadi's counsel as he made a, a fresh uh, pitch for bail uh, before the High Court. Primarily, uh, the fact that bail being uh, the uh, the norm and jail really an exception, and that has today found resonance uh, with the Delhi High Court. Moments back, the Delhi High Court has pronounced its verdict, and Suresh Kalmadi has been granted bail uh, on a surety of five lakh rupees. Back to you. Now, Minakshi, also take us through the various arguments that took place in the court today, which eventually led to uh, this bail being granted. Well, today, since uh, the matter was slated for judgment, uh, the matter was, got over in a moment, uh, in a matter of moments, really. Uh, essentially, it was up for pronouncement. Uh, but what we have seen is an entire uh, the, the drama preceding the judgment. That has been very interesting. Uh, this case has been through uh, several twists and turns. We know that uh, Kalmadi has been incarcerated uh, for a long time. It was uh, April last year that uh, he was taken into custody thereafter. Uh, time and again, we have seen Kalmadi's counsels uh, make a pitch for bail earlier before the trial court, which had rejected it. Thereafter, um, also, uh, what, what is interesting is the fact that Kalmadi's counsels at one point in time in August last year had made, uh, they, they made a plea before the court that... Uh, All right, Minakshi, do stay on with us. We are joined in by Suresh Kalmadi's lawyer on the phone line with us. Uh, thanks very much, uh, sir, for speaking to Times Now. Uh, your uh, initial reactions, uh, take us through what exactly happened in the court today. Well, the Delhi High Court has enlarged Mr. Kalmari on uh, bail. Uh, we have to yet to see the detailed reasons of the orders. Uh, our plea was basically the investigation is completed and the charge sheet has been filed. So, uh, I mean, there is no need to keep Mr. Kalmari in the further custody. And on all the ground, and particularly in the light of the recent judgment of the Supreme Court in Sanjay Chandra's case, which said that the bail is a right and a jail is an exception. So we had argued all these uh, uh, points before the court and... Uh, uh, finally, uh, Mr. Kalmadi has been enlarged on the bail. Sir, do also take us through, by when can we expect Mr. Suresh Kalmadi to be out of jail? Well, uh, there will be certain formalities that will be required to be completed. We will be in the process of completing the same. So hopefully, either by the end of the day today or tomorrow evening, he should be out of the jail. Now, what happens from here, uh, Mr. Jain? Just take us through uh, what can be expected in the court from here on. Well, uh, the, the trial is already uh, there before the lower court. So uh, we will be uh, continuing to participate in the trial before the uh, special court, which is pending uh, in, the, in the Patiala House. Now, Mr. Jain, can you also take us through what your argument was all this while? Because Suresh Kalmadi was in jail for close to 10 months. Well, uh, basically, uh, the, the arguments were uh, threefold, uh, that investigation is completed, charge sheet has been filed, prima facie, uh, there has been uh, 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 the materials uh, placed on the record did not disclose the involvement of Mr. Kalmadi in the offense. And uh, since the case is based on documentary evidence, is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, and the entire investigation, charge sheet and everything is filed. So obviously, in view of the settled principle of the law, he is entitled to be released on bail. So this was uh, the basic argument before the court.